Hello everyone. Welcome to these discussions on the possibilities for digitalization of mechanical cutting equipment. Thomas, would you like to tell the audience something about Catronic, the automated cutting sequence of our mechanical cutting machines? Absolutely. We've been working on developing this technology for a number of years now. It all started in the underground mines in Germany with road headers. But the first time we've um, commercially implemented the Catronic solution was with a customer in the United States. At that time it was still called the AutoCut system and it was used together with a guidance system. Um, however, to give you a little bit better overview of the system, I would like to show you a short portion of a customer testimonial. The tunnels have to be straight, extremely straight. We're cutting perfectly to design. And that's what it needs to be is straight for them to place a conveyor 7,200 feet long uh, if you're off just a little bit, that, that conveyor isn't going to fit in that tunnel and come all the way out. So it's allowed very accurate tunneling. The purpose is to, for Barrick to be able to go deeper, eliminate the high cost truck haulage out of the existing portals. And the east tunnel here will have a conveyor in it that conveyors are rock out at a much cheaper price per ton, you know. The lead man on this crew uh, after he first cut with the auto cut, and Darren's a 30-year mining guy, said, uh, you know, I hate to admit it, but I finally found something electronic that can do a job better than I can. He said, I love the auto cut, you know, because it just gives you a perfect profile. So in that application, the system was used to cut a decline where accuracy was obviously very crucial. Have you also used the Catronic system in a production environment yet? Yes, it's been implemented with other applications too. For example, we've used it in the German underground salt mines with a rotator where the machine is cutting a full sum cycle fully automatically. But here again, I would like to show you a short version of a customer testimonial. Also, der Vorteil über dieses mannlose Schneiden, wir generieren dadurch mehr Schneidzeit. Wir haben ungefähr circa im letzten Jahr waren das fast 90 Meter, wo die Maschine mannlos lief. So in addition to the fully automatic cutting cycle, we've also implemented a cutting path planning tool, which helps our customers to individually plan and optimize the way the cross section is cut. Uh, on top of that, we've um, implemented a fast profiling tool, which helps especially in tunneling applications where accuracy is of utmost importance. Finally, the Catronic system increases the machine lifetime because it optimizes the way the machines are used always at nominal levels. Let me show you an illustration of another application where a Catronic system is implemented on an MV770 bolter miner. Die Maschine, die wird immer, die schneidet da immer einen Meter und dann fährt die Maschine immer einen Meter nach vorne. Wir haben aber drei Schnitte eingestellt, so dass die Maschine 33 cm pro Schnitt macht. Also so dass man hat man drei Schnitte, dass man auf einen Meter kommt. Und nach dem Meter wird die Maschine wieder zusammengepackt, dann fährt man sie wieder einen Meter nach vorne. Und dann stellt man wieder die Automatik frisch ein und dann fängt es wieder von vorne an. Uwe, what was the reason for initiating the development of our rotator teller remote operation? And what's the ultimate ambition for this project? On one hand, there was a strong demand from our customers and the global market. And on the other hand, it formed part of a strategy of our future uh, digital offering. The plan is to have a phased development uh, with intermediate targets, which can be rolled out to the market as single products at defined dates. Ultimately, the project should bring us to the situation where underground mechanical cutting machines operate autonomously and they are just controlled from surface via tele-remote station. Autonomous mechanical cutting machines will then have on board artificial intelligence, like the Catronic system we've already spoken about, and off-board a tele-remote station. Can you briefly explain the advantages of tele-remote operation for our road headers? In principle, there are two main topics. Number one, provide safer and more convenient uh, working environment for the machine operators. And number two, a significant gain in machine utilization because you can keep the machine in operation during shift changes. What is the current development status of the tele-remote operation project? Let's walk together through footage we just recently recorded of workshop testing of a brand new MT720. Here you see how a rotate has operated the standard way 
On the machine you have a three-way button, which is turned to the tele-remote operation position. Then the operator takes off the key and leaves the cabin. The machine operator takes over control on surface and sets up the machine underground for cutting operation. He ramps the machine forward to the tunnel face, puts the rear stabilizers and the loading table down to the tunnel floor and then he initiates the Catronic system for automated cutting of one full cycle. When the Catronic is in action, he takes off his hands from the controls and leans back into the comfortable operator seat. Now you see how smart and easy it is to become a rotator operator in the future. When you are going to use the daily remote operation feature, now available for your mechanical cutting machines. Finally, Jürgen, should we speak now about connected equipment, analytics and process optimization? Definitely. We have been working on remote monitoring for several months now. The logical steps when it comes to remote monitoring are as follows. Get visibility of your equipment, connect equipment and access data, establish equipment communication either live or at regular intervals. Then you need to put the data into context and gain service intelligence to help protect and enhance the relationship with the customer and ensure customer satisfaction. In my view, data on its own does not add much value. It's important to visualize the data in a meaningful context, for example, as key performance indicators and alerts. Here in mechanical cutting, we strongly believe we need to pull information from different types of systems in order to understand the whole picture when it comes to system health status as well as machine availability and performance. That's interesting. Can you tell us more about the different systems that are used to get a better understanding of the system's health status? Yes, of course. We talk about telemetry data, which we can obtain via live connection. Oil analysis is carried out at least once a week and the laboratory results are transferred automatically into our database. Sandvik service teams, supported by smart gadgets, perform a physical asset inspection at least once a month and we also use asset management software to properly plan and manage maintenance activities. Using this information and insights, we can support customer in transitioning from high cost reactive maintenance methods to a prescriptive and ultimately predictive maintenance approach. Providing customers with insights into the true cost of ownership puts us into a firm position to be our customer's preferred productivity partner. What kind of platform is used to provide customer relevant information and insights? All the information are shared with the customer via the Sandvik MyFleet online portal. That's where a customer can find informative dashboards with the ability to sort and filter aggregated information. Furthermore, there's the option to receive alerts and notifications about abnormalities not in line with KPIs. To sum it up, with this type of new digital service, the customer can take control of their fleet through remote monitoring and Sandvik's service excellence. Thank you all for your attention.